Today, we're going to be taking a look at the best all-black loadout that you can pick up in CS2. If you go with all the budget options in this video, it comes in at only $20.67, which is definitely insane for a full color theme loadout. As I do in all my videos, I will be giving away a skin in this video. All you need to do, stick around, watch the entire video to find out how to enter. Taking a look at the budget option for the Glock 18, we have the Ironwork in Field Tested Condition. This comes in at only 12 cents. It's pretty much an all black skin with a tiny bit of silver throughout the very top of the slider on this weapon. However, it definitely matches into a nice black themed inventory. The expensive option we have for the Glock 18 is the Dragon Tattoo in Factory New Condition. This comes in at $109.45. However, with some lighting in CS2, it actually makes it look a bit silver instead of black. I personally think the budget option is the better option. Moving over to the USPS, the first option we have here for the budget option is the Ticket to Hell in Field Tested Condition. This comes in at only 29 cents. It does show a bit of wear in Field Tested Condition, however, if you want to do this on a budget, it definitely still looks good in Field Tested. There's a tiny bit of scratches right below the silencer. Other than that, it's a pretty clean skin, definitely a lot of stuff going on. Matches nice with a white themed inventory as well, however it definitely fits in in a black themed inventory. The expensive option we have for the USPS is the Dark Water in Minimal Wear Condition. This comes in at $92.15, and even though it's Minimal Wear Condition, it still shows a ton of wear at the very front of the weapon. I personally think the budget option is a lot better of a choice than this one, so definitely go with the budget one. If you use the P2000 instead of the USPS, your first option here is a Souvenir Panther Camo in Field Tested Condition. You want to pick this up in Souvenir for an extra cheap option and scratch off all of the stickers. This comes in at only 5 cents, and as you can see here, it's an all black skin no matter what lighting you have in CS2. The expensive option we have for the P2000 is the Chainmail in Minimal Wear Condition. This comes in at $145, and even in Minimal Wear, this once again has a ton of scratches on that slider trigger. I definitely think, once again, the budget option is definitely the one to choose. For the P250, we're going to be picking up the Metallic DD Pat in Minimal Wear Condition. This comes in at only 12 cents. It has a bit of grey on the skin mixed in with a bit of black. I definitely think this is a great skin to add to a black themed inventory. Moving over to the Dual Berettas, we're going to be picking up the Elite 1.6 in Field Tested Condition. This comes in at only 10 cents, and this is an all black skin with a tiny bit of silver writing. This is pretty much the most basic skin you can find in CS2. It basically looks like there's not even a skin on this. Definitely a great pickup for a black themed inventory. Taking a look at the 5.7, we're going to be picking up the Scumbria in minimal wear condition. This comes in at only 10 cents. It has a lot of black throughout the very top of the weapon, and the very bottom of the play skin is definitely in an all black finish. Definitely matches with a black themed inventory, and for the price, you have to pick this up. Jumping over to the Tech 9, the budget option we have here is the Urban DD Pat in field tested condition. This comes in at only 3 cents. It's a mixture of silver, white, and black. However, for a black themed combo video, this definitely will fit into a black themed inventory very nicely. If you do have the budget and you want to spend a bit more to get an all black skin, I would pick up the Cutout in factory new condition. This comes in at $9.20. Compared to that last skin, it has a lot less grey and white. Definitely matches a bit better, however for the price, if you do have the budget, definitely pick this one up. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated trading site with an insane amount of skins. Simply click the skins that you don't want from your inventory, click the skins you do want, and press trade. Use code CLAUDE to get up to $5 extra on your first trade when you spend $100, as well as a 35% deposit bonus. They also have freebies for daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways. Link is in the description. Check it out today, and thanks again Skins Monkey for sponsoring the video. Jumping over to the CZ75, we're going to be picking up the Tuxedo in field tested condition. Although the very top slider part of this weapon is in a white finish, I definitely think this is still considered an almost all black skin. The rest of the weapon is completely black without even any silver or other white throughout the weapon. Definitely a great pickup for a black themed inventory. Moving over to the Desert Eagle, the cheapest option you have here is the Conspiracy in Field Tested Condition. This comes in at $5.98 and it's the budget version that you can pick up in CS2. 
Maybe later on in CS2, they'll add some more Black Deagle skins. However, right now, this is the cheapest option, even though it's over $5. Another great option you have for the Deagle is the Knight in minimal wear condition. This one comes in at $16.24, and it's another great option if you didn't like the Conspiracy. Moving over to the MAC-10, the budget option you have here is the Lightbox in field tested condition. This comes in at only $0.10, cents and it was recently added in the newest update with the Kilowatt Collection. Definitely a great pickup for only $0.10. Cents. There's a tiny bit of purple throughout the weapon, however it's pretty much all black. Definitely a nice pickup for a black themed inventory. If you don't like the purple being shown in the light box, you can pick up the Whitefish in field tested condition. This comes in at only 14 cents and it's another great budget option for a black themed inventory. Moving over to the UMP45, we're going to be picking up the Roadblock in field tested condition. This comes in at only 7 cents, however if you're not a fan of that tiny bit of orange throughout the center of the weapon, make sure to check out this next option. The other option you have for the UMP45 is the Carbon Fiber in Minimal Wear Condition. This comes in at only 11 cents. It's definitely my pick out of the two options for the UMP45. Moving over to the MP9, we're going to be picking up the Featherweight in Field Tested Condition. This comes in at only 6 cents. It's an all black skin with a tiny bit of white shown underneath. Definitely a great pickup for the price. Another great budget option for the MP9 is the Dart in Field Tested Condition. This comes in at only 45 cents, and just like the last skin, it's all black. Definitely a great pickup. Moving over to the PP Bison, we're going to be picking up the Lumen in Field Tested Condition. This comes in at 64 cents. It's an all black skin with a tiny bit of red throughout the weapon. This is definitely a good combo for a black themed inventory. For the MP7, we're going to be picking up the Armor Core in Field Tested Condition. This comes in at only 8 cents. This is an all black skin with a tiny bit of silver throughout the weapon. This is a great pickup for the price. Taking a look at the P90 before we move on to the main primary weapons, we're going to be picking up the Elite Build in Field Tested Condition. This comes in at only 25 cents. In Field Tested Condition, you can see a lot of wear on this, so definitely consider picking this up in minimal wear if you do have the budget. I will be giving away this Huntsman Knife Lore in field tested condition when I hit 30,000 subscribers. All you need to do is drop a like on this video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and make sure your trade link or Steam ID is in the description of your YouTube channel. Moving over to the FAMAS, we're going to be picking up the Jin in field tested condition. This comes in at $2.20. It's an all black skin in CS2 and you can't go wrong with this option. Moving over to the Galil, we're going to be picking up the Destroyer in field tested condition. This comes in at 7 cents, and this is one of the best options you can get for the Galil with a black loadout. Moving over to the M4A1S, the budget option we have here is the Basilisk in field tested condition. This comes in at $5.06. If you want it to be even more black in CS2, you're going to want to pick this up in battle scarred condition. However, the budget option is in field tested condition, so keep that in mind if you do pick this up. The expensive option we have for the M4A1S is the Dark Water in minimal wear condition. This comes in at $97.01. Just like the dark water for the USPS, it shows a ton of wear even in minimal wear condition. I personally think the budget option is the one to choose. Moving over to the M4A4, the budget option we have here is the mainframe in factory new condition. This comes in at 6 cents, and even in factory new condition there's still a ton of wear shown on this. This is almost a double O float, so definitely keep that in mind if you do pick this skin up. Another great option for the M4A4 is the Etch Lord in minimal wear condition. This comes in at $1.54. This is from the new Kilowatt collection, and I think this is the best black M4A4 in CS2. I will be giving away this M4A4 Etch Lord in minimal wear condition. All you need to do is drop a like on this video and comment down below your favorite black item from this video. Make sure to stick around and watch the rest of the video as there may be one that you do like better. Moving over to the AK-47, we're going to be picking up the Slate in battle scarred condition. This comes in at $2.47 and this is the best all black skin in CS2. Not a single other color throughout this weapon. This is the best skin that you can pick up for a black themed loadout. If for some reason you don't want to pick up the AK-47 slate, the other option you have here is the black laminate in minimal wear condition. This comes in at $39.57. It's a nice clean skin, however I think the slate is the better option. 
Moving over to the AWP, we're going to be picking up the Black Nile in field tested condition. This comes in at only $1.47. You can't go wrong with the skin, an all black skin for an AWP looks super clean. Another option that we have for the op is the Graphite in minimal wear condition. This comes in at $184.07. I personally think the Black Nile is a better pickup and considering this is 100 times the price, definitely not the one I would choose. Taking a look at the final weapon before we move on to some gloves and knives, we're going to be picking up the Souvenir Carbon Fiber in factory new condition. This comes in at only 88 cents. You're going to want to scratch off all the stickers so there's no stickers shown throughout the weapon. This is the best pickup for the scout. Taking a look at some gloves, knives, and agents for a black theme loadout. For the agent, we're going to be picking up the Michael Cyphers agent. This comes in at only $4.64. It pairs very nicely with the knock gloves that are shown here. Minimal wear condition at $694.07. A great knife that you can pick up for a black theme loadout are the Shadow Dagger Vanillas. As you can see here, they're completely black with a tiny bit of white for the castle. Shown on the weapon, I definitely think this is a super clean combo for a black theme loadout. Some other great options we have for gloves and knives. For the gloves here are the smoke out in minimal wear condition. These come in at $361.50. For the knife we have the Huntsman Black Laminate in battle scarred condition. The more battle scarred it is, the more black it looks in CS2. This comes in at $137.51. However, you can swap this out for any other black laminate skins in CS2. I hope you guys enjoyed watching another full color themed loadout in CS2. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.